we've got smoke imx god fish speaker mason bees get degrees the map the map ban phase we've got right. the first vetoes black forest for fish arena for mason i like where this is going enclosed go. is uh gonna be the home map there for fish speaker mason on mega random and then a few ban amazon tunnel out early kawasan sad to see that one go yucatan mongolia arabia nomad nile delta last choice is between ghost lake and rivers interesting Two so... very different maps we okay. end up on ghost lake so that's going to be game one let's go not yet. We've got the Civ draft too. Content oh, that's right. stalling, that's right. stalling. That's a three bracket. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Fish Speaker choosing Spanish for AOE two. By the way, Civ drafts are uh, exclusive, which means that the uh, both players cannot choose the same Civ. So Spanish has been chosen by Smoke IMX God, which means that Mason cannot choose Spanish. Goths for Mason, Burgundians, Bohemians. On the left side, Hindustanis as well, Japanese, Britons, and Georgians. Last pick for uh, hmm. for Fish Speaker. That's interesting. We know that Bo- that Georgians is one of his favorite sibs, so risky leaving it till last. <laughs> Let it get potentially indeed. sniped out. But all right, that's enough stalling. Let's get into the game. Here we have. Bees get degrees versus fish speaker bees in blue playing as the Burgundians and fish speaker in red on the other side playing as the Spanish here on Ghost Lake. Pretty standard Ghost Lake here. We've got all the uh, extra sheep in the middle that players might decide to beeline for. And, uh,. Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I'm a bit, of, I'm a bit of a Ghost Lake fan. Something interesting about this map, you often have your uh, your large resource deposits pretty exposed on the front. Yeah, there's, there's no like wood line in the front. The, the lake is there. You can't wall the lake. You can only do like you're gonna have to do some big walls basically if you want to protect this stuff. He's got degrees. Pretty. Uh, Pretty well known for his walling and his house, his house walling, his palisade walling in the past. Annoyed many a squeaky G last year. I think he pulled out a a, a two one match victory versus squeaky G last year. It's pretty pretty tense stuff. Let's see if he's uh if he's able to repeat that this year around this time around. Fish speaker with the Spanish. Probably we're gonna see Fast Castle into Conquistadors. That's like the, the the main Spanish play. It's the one I've seen in practice most. The Burgundians though. Uh, Cav Civ. They have better farms, I think. <laughs> Man, I need to look at the Civ and Colonies. <laughs> We'll definitely see some of those techs and units fleshed out this game. I have no doubt about it. And right now, both players just kind of see? standard start, getting the food going, getting the wood line going, getting the sheep collected. Yeah, how, how is the sheep count for these players right now? Five for blue, fish speaker, able to snipe a few here. He's got five right now claimed as well. It looks like... Actually, it looks like Fish Speaker is the only one who's really looking around the middle of the map for those yeah, sheep. I think that Blue so, might not know about that particular feature of yeah, the map, so, unfortunately. Yeah, but a good play from Fish to go ahead and do that. Again, he's finding sheep. He's going to be able to get some more food for himself. So well played on him on him to start ex, uh, scouting around. Again, scouting... Any, with any kind of RTS is going to really give you advantages, seeing Absolutely. where your enemy is, finding resources that will help you out later on. So this get on. Is a, this is a good example, too. Ever ever since uh, this map was in the ranked uh, team game ladder, Fish Speaker has known about this, right? So great example of how just playing the game and uh, yeah, getting, that, getting that experience, getting in those hours pays off. 
Indeed. So well played by uh, Fish over there to take advantage of the map. Knowing the map, knowing what to do, knowing where to look. So well played from Fish. Um, he's going to put him, hopefully put him ahead. We'll see what Bees but, gets up to now. It's also possible he was just trying to find all of his boars and, and sheep at home true. before yeah. moving out. I know uh -huh. Fish Speaker hasn't found, sorry, oh, oh, there we go. He hasn't found one of his boars. Or, either, like, missing some of his starting sheep, too, so. He d has had to sacrifice some home knowledge in order to get that lake scouted out. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> what are you doing? Bring out Cam. Who, this is for you, Walker. Welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Good to see you here. Cam is oh, out. Oh. He's here. Don't worry. We're gonna have to get you to play another match. I think you have, uh, you've challenged Anna Hamstra, right? I did, the yes. I think I, I need to play her at least soon because I'm, I leave for a trip next week and I probably won't have access to my computer, so. Hmm, yeah, we gotta, I mean, we gotta get theoretically, that going. Theoretically, <laughs> I could play on my laptop because we could probably run the AOE too. <laughs> but, but, it's a great, but it probably would be Yeah, we, we should hit that thread again and see if we can get yeah, that to happen be, yeah. before next weekend. Yeah. It would be cool to see. I need to try to get work my way up, get into the next league. This is round one of the top eight players bracket for the Winter Bash. If you're if you're just joining us now after all these weeks, welcome. And the community challenge. In the immortal oh, words of Rebecca Black, it's Friday. Hey, that's right. What have I done? I can't. <laughs> I should not oh, post the link. To he's gonna. Listen. I think they're gonna do the whole song Friday. No, what have I done? I should not. Post, I should not have posted the link to the stream in my other in my friend's no, chat. No, by all means, no, no, no. got to get down no. on Friday. Yeah, Friday. <laughs> all right. Anyways, this game. Bees with uh, with eight villagers on the berries, seven on the sheep, four choppers. He's working away on that castle age. One minute and 41 seconds. Sorry, feudal age. Fish speaker, uh, actually, he has got quite the eco here. 25 villagers. Okay, he's working on getting to feudal age as well, but much slower. Three on gold, three on stone. Tells me he wants to fast castle and instantly drop the castle once he gets there. He's practiced this build quite a bit, I think. So he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be fairly smooth with it. I, I would, I would guess. I missed what that tech was, but I'm sure it doesn't matter. I think. Oh no, that was probably Loom. Okay, Loom into Feudal Age, the classic strat. Twenty-seven Bill. It's definitely a Castle Age build. Please get degrees. Adding in some militia. We'll see if they get their utility. I've made my views on building militia with no provocation. Uh, I've made my views clear in the past. I think it's bad. But you never know. See if he's able to use them to his advantage here. Instead of just uh, sinking resources into them. He did make it to feudal age faster anyway. So could be able to uh, do a little bit more with the technology. Now we got some spearmen here. Mm -hmm. I guess he has found the enemy. I uh, I'll question the spearmen as well. There's no stable from the from the red yeah. player and no scouts other than the starting yeah, scouts. Fish so. right now isn't worried about getting any uh, military units up. I think he's more just focused on getting his resources going so he has enough to. I guess I think I know why. I'm always I'm gonna... like so unreal, oh, unreasonably oh, critical. No. Oh no! I think I know um, why the army. He killed the scout, which is great, but it kind of makes me feel like they kind of started the game with less of a plan. Like Fish Speaker clearly has a, a like very delineated plan of what he wants to do. Right? He wants to go Castle Age and uh, make his unique unit. This just kind of makes me think. Okay, I'm just playing the game, and I'll just like kind of. Do whatever, we'll see how it works out. I don't know. I'm being unfair <laughs> to, to, to bees get degrees right now, maybe, but. Um, 
uh, it, it definitely feels better when players go into a game of age with like a, a fleshed out plan at least of what they want to do even if that doesn't necessarily pan out Xanthium, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Another Cam Cam Link post uh, Link follower. <laughs> right. Hey, can you sing a song? They're requesting oh, it in man. the chat. Uh, I think I need to wait to sing the song to see. I need to see how the game progresses first before I sing a song. Okay, we'll we'll get a contextually relevant song. From I think we need. Yeah, there. I think that needs to happen. I think we need like the game. What 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 are the criteria for for Cameron singing? I think the songs about fire. No, not <laughs> songs about fire. Songs about fire. Like then everything starts catching on fire for either player. That's I think when the song needs to come out. Okay, that's the song of your people. It's everything catching fire. Burn, baby, burn. Hang on, that's the song <laughs> I think. Okay. Disco and burn. Disco and burn. <laughs> It has to oh, be the smoothest I'm... fast castle oh, here no. for, for Fish Speaker. He didn't have enough wood to get the, the market and the blacksmith down, but he's working his way towards it. There's the market now. Okay, so he is. Uh, right now, Fish has been doing a good job. He does have the villager. He does have the uh, higher villager count, so he is just focusing on resources. It's starting to. Okay, interesting wall there from Bees. Um, bees. I'm not sure why you wall here. Here's 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 why we're saying that's interesting, Bees. If you if you rewatch this, okay, we're looking at choke points in this game, right? If you do here, you do here, maybe here, and just in these little gaps, right? Then you're fully locked in. This, I guess, is like you probably you you, you definitely okay. have a reason to do this. I guess I, yeah, it would I, be I, like to protect from raids on the wood line. But you can protect from ways on the wood line by just walling there as well. It's like, yeah, you know, protects so, way more land. But yes, I, I think I see, think about. I, yeah, I see the idea. I just think maybe the positioning of the walls and the houses could have been done differently. Yeah, uh, we got in the chat. Is this game a prequel to Red Alert? Well, this game is definitely a uh, an influence on Red Alert. Uh, it's a predecessor, maybe not a prequel. Different, different studio, different IP, but. Actually, I don't even know. Red Alert, like original Red Alert, might have come out before AOE 2. When did it come out, Cam? Do you know? Like the original. Uh, Red Alert, the original Red Alert? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. This is what I'm here for. I'm here just for the Wikipedia entry. Wikipedia. That's right. Wikipedia. I, need, I need a Wikipedia. Uh, uh, 90, uh, Red Alert series. The original Red Alert came out in 96. Okay, Age of Empires 1, I think, was 97. So, you know what? Red Alert was. Uh, and was 90, cool before uh, it was cool. Command and Conquer, the first Command and Conquer was released in 95. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but. And there, I, also, we have some people in the chat accusing you of being an imposter of the real. I guess. Player. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what I am anymore. <laughs> um, dang. Okay. I'm just noticing B's wall over his base. Um,. So I guess it's kind of we gotta ask what the scouting is for bees too. Well, so he doesn't know I, like necessarily. I say that, this I'm noticing he's got a few units heading down to the. I'm noticing I think he's got the military units heading down to uh, Red's base. He is sending the scouts. This is okay, huge, so and there is yep, a hole. Okay, so yep, there's speaker, a hole. There's always a hole. <laughs> there's always a hole. And he's gonna be able to get a villager. So um, really. Oh no, that village! Oh no, we're gonna get two villagers. villagers. Oh doomed. no, oh no, no hole there. Bees Yikes. with the okay. uh, with the scale barding armor. I yep. recommend forging here because you're really trying to do damage, and scouts are pretty poor oh, on the damage. No. Okay, so he's gonna send all these villagers over to get a second TC up. Oh no, a castle. castle! I'm sorry. So this I is didn't... Fish Speaker's timing. He loses two villas. I was gonna say, yeah, um, I was not paying attention. He is in the third. He is in the next age, so he's gonna. While, yeah, while that was team. happening. Yeah. Able to despite, get that castle. Yeah. Um, despite that little hit, like bees didn't get too much off of that. Like fish was able to just move everything away. It looks like he's gonna be able to do go to his game plan and get start getting those hopefully get get the units he wants out. And yeah. Castles up. I think maybe bees got scared by the castle age uh, going off there. But yeah. what I would love to see is just keep those scouts around, keep them yeah, active I, and because if you just let them yeah. back here, let them live in fish speaker's head. 
rent yeah, free, then I, that I does think, a lot. But so just pulling that being said, he is. That being said, he is starting to move the scouts back in. Going to try to maybe find another angle of entry, but um, there are still gaps in the back of uh, Fish's base. Yeah, so there's a section over there that he might be able to find his way into. B is going for some incredible palisade walls. And that, I guess I can see it now. I can see what he's going for. Um, that <laughs> being, all right, so fish, fish is gonna start circling. I'm sorry, B is gonna start circling around. He's gonna see this wall here. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. So the wait, let timing me... on that game. I gotta see this oh, again. No, no, we're gonna, no. We're gonna look at this again. So, oh man, that is, I can't, what? Oh man. Something I didn't even know about this game, it deletes the wall the instant you place the gate foundation, not when you oh, hit it with the villager. So like, so depressing. before you build it, so it just like deletes the wall like right wow. after that. Yeah, so, the villager wasn't there fast, and the villager wasn't there because if they had started the foundation, yeah. it wouldn't have been able to get through. Is I mean, that right? I would have thought if I was doing this, I would have thought this would be safe still. Like, it would still be walled. Yeah. But rare mechanic oh, coming yeah. into play. Oh, he's wow, degree, he's able to get through there. I mean, he yeah, could have just cool. walked around the back, too. So it's not yeah, like I mean, huge, but... But uh, the problem is, the problem is he is going to get that villager, so that's going to be yeah, a villager down villain. for I today. love the aggro from Bees. Right now, yeah, seven scouts again, out. Huge play. Yeah, um, just... but the fish think are quick on the response to get those villagers away. Gonna try to get them into the TC. Um, uh, on. Uh, another one. Uh, Not enough space in the TC. Villagers moving to the uh, castle. Villagers moving to the castle. Three okay, so down. we have. Are those conquistadors that he has out these right are now? Three conquistadors, four conquistadors, able to four push conquistadors. back okay. the last four scouts. Okay. Last okay. Scouts. okay, really well played from Fish Speaker to respond to that. He didn't panic. He got those villagers out, and he was able to um, keep those guys alive. Going to start putting the villagers back to work. So that was so interesting. And Fish Speaker is going to finish that wall. Wow, that was <laughs> a very. That was a yeah. fascinating mechanic. Yeah, that's really interesting give and take there. I just, uh, again, I think I'm trying to rationalize my own opinions, right? That scout rush could have been so much faster if you hadn't made so many spearmen and militia. You would have been able to get them out like yeah, yeah, yeah. three minutes faster without those. I was say, um, that and gotten even more damage. So I'm just like seeing the yeah. potential that you have and just like, yeah, I think you also, and Great you also meant, there. yeah, and you also mentioned as well that he. Um, he could have kept his scouts around and put them somewhere else in the base to... And he did, after I said that, he came back, so yeah. hey. He well did, played. yeah, so he did, did respond. And it looks like Fish Speaker is going to start to fill in the holes that are in his base, going to try to block off any other avenue of uh, entrance. <laughs> He's trying to keep this gold and stone inside of the walls, I think. Noticing that Bees is going to the next age. That's right, Bees one minute away from Feudal, or from Castle. Just noticing we have a, someone real new close in chat. So Alt Mill, welcome to the chat. Spanish players should push. Looks like uh, good observation. Looks like he's gonna start pushing right now. Yeah, welcome in Salt Mill. Good to see you here. This is uh, this is part of a small like sort of semi low medium skill AOE community tournaments. Round one of the top eight player bracket. Fish speaker here playing the Spanish. Watch these not okay. You know. <laughs> hey now, watch out. Yeah. Hold on. Keep, keep it keep it clean in the chat. Oh wait, hold and on. Fish I'm a mod. Not should... microing. Gonna lose some conquistors. That's expensive. Who loses one and a lot of HP there. Those spearmen are actually gonna end up being useful. And there's a hole here. I, I think fish. I think bees is uh, is playing with big trees or something. Or maybe this is chopped through. That might actually be the case. Could be both. Village is going to start getting picked off by the Conquistadors. Players players don't realize how powerful Conquistadors are. I think Fish could have moved out with three and, and done plenty of damage, too. But the army numbers for blue are pretty well, pretty significant, though. Red going to have to devote a lot of his time to kiting these units back and forth. He should be able to win, but it's going to take a lot of APM, a lot of uh, multitasking to be able to do that. He's going to fall back for now. Stand outside of the base. B's going for a second TC in kind of a random spot. We like to see these on, at least on the wood line to protect it. Like back here would be incredible. Or on the stone or the gold. Actually, third TC in a great spot here with the gold and the, yeah. and the, mm -hmm. and the wood. I guess it's kind of awkward. You can't really put it here with the Conquistors pushing. So. Yeah. 
you do what you gotta do. Mm hmm But it's looking pr looking pretty good. But right now, Red's just kind of. You see how fast these palisades fall. My word, yeah. Like obviously, those are good for just initial hits, but. Uh, but okay, they're gonna say he's gonna start moving in now, and it looks like uh, Bees is gonna start getting a castle up. Gonna try to get a defensive option up and no castle for these doors. Bees. Oh, sorry, that's not a, oh, that's a TC. I thought it was a castle. But that being said, okay, so the King's Source are gonna engage these units over here, and he's got the range on him, so he's gonna be able to keep them at a distance. And that's an interesting path for that uh, pikeman. The town centers do protect a lot of area here. I guess these farms are on the mill are kind of the exposed area right now. I think Bish should really be working on doing some um, damage while he can. Sorry, I'm just noticing Salt Mill's question in the chat. What is the ELO? Um, we're various ELOs, uh, Salt. We're, I, uh, I'll give you an estimate. Um, oh my, they can have the rain. Oh, they can shoot over the wall. Oh my goodness. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> this, is, this is probably 700, maybe 600 ELO. If I had to guess, the uh, these players, a lot of a lot of the players in the bracket, um, don't really play on the ranked ladder that much, so don't necessarily have like an elo that is representative of their skill, or have no elo at all. But uh, we would definitely say low elo legends tournament here. But we're all in it for the good times. It's fun to yeah. cast the, the high close. tension. I will say in this in this game, we might see the chat. Uh, if, if there was chat about it, but fish speaker had to pause and like take like a couple of minutes because his heart was beating so fast He thought he was gonna like faint because of how much pressure he put himself under to win this Jeez, holy. <laughs> He's like sweating through the whole thing. So wow It's, it, it's still a, it's still a high octane even if it is low uh, okay, yeah, These boys, <laughs> low these, boys taking, these boys taking these games very seriously. Yeah, just gonna poke some Great. more holes in these carefully placed palisade walls. Yeah, so really good job from uh, Fish Speaker over here to try to just be an annoyance. It looks like he's gonna. Oh, Mike, he just melted that unit. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of wondering if if Bees know, knows it, like what unit it, counters these. Yeah, being said, look, so really good engagement for Bees. It looks like he's gonna be able to maybe pick snipe a unit uh, or two, but Fish really still good. on top yeah, of that Speaker's micro. Adding, adding, that being said, he is putting himself into a corner. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was enough. Oh, he's going to get the Conquistador. So he put himself into a corner. Oh, but he does have so those... two. He's going to cut it out. Oh, oh he, my goodness. He's decided not to push with those. Not yeah. To kill oh, the no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. That wasn't insane. But he's going to start. Oh, he's going to move back. He's going to get in. He's going to be able to get the Conquistadors. He is going to get them down, and they are dead. Well played from Bees. Wow. I... Oh, the fish <laughs> had moved down to the right. He might have been able to really get out of that. Out, he did. That was actually really insane. Really well played from uh, bees. I think. I will say, I'm uh, bees with the second layer of palisade oh walls gosh. in this back corner. Um, wow. It did keep all of bees' army in the back, so that positioning yeah. is valuable for fish speaker to force all of the attention back here. He's with a lot of idle eco, but the 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 first wave of conks does go down. Yeah. Second wave, still B... working on it. Still coming yeah. in. Yeah, I think Fish might have just lost track of the um, the conquistadors and wasn't paying attention to the units that were coming in. And I think, obviously, if his tactic is just to hit and runs, then obviously he was doing a good job, but he just didn't have enough units to deal with that frontal assault, and he didn't cut it out well enough. Again, there's a lot to think about, so he maybe wasn't paying attention to that, but... Yeah, well I, and I, I, I guess I'll say it's not like the end of the world, right, to lose your, your raiding army at this point because you have forced the narrative to be your attack oh. they're defending they that being said I, at home. that being said i'm noticing the giant army conquistadors on the top <laughs> side of the base they're back More again conquistadors. yeah and i think he might have enough this time that he's just going to be able to shred anything that comes his way we'll have to see those um, bees more. got some stingers but the fish can swim okay we got our tagline yeah, um aoe four is probably not going to come till the later and the latter end of the night we are Pretty we have piece. one. Okay, so there's two games, maybe three games in this match, and then two to three games in the next match of AoE oh, two, no. and then we'll move to AoE four after that. Unless wow. you want to play our AoE four match right now and can't. Really good. 
really good focus fire here from uh, Fish Speaker on those uh, on those units. Going to just be able to melt them. Going to take maybe minimal losses here. Going to take lose a few conquistadors, but Fish Bees is going to back off. So good. I think Fish Speaker did a better job here of microwing that and just shredding those units with those conquistadors. I know Fish Speaker, a big league player. Uh, he's using that kiting skill in in AoE two now. Something maybe transferable. The eco count is the same for both players. Um, uh, I thought we did. Out. I thought we did. Um, because I thought we did Walker uh, because uh, yeah, we did mention it's gonna be towards the end of the night. We have a few more uh bracket games to deal with, and then we'll we'll see how we get to the AOE uh, four game. Yeah, yes. we'll do it that way. Oh, here we go. So sec. I'm trying to say one second. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yeah, okay. So there was that, that that's where the pause was. Very I honorable. Really. Very honorable from Beast to allow that. Again, like, it's. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'll say, if you gotta it, pause, that's. You gotta pause. It's, well, I think it's not, like, too crazy. It's good, to, it's good to take. It's good to take these games seriously, but, you know, you don't want to take it too seriously that they. You ruin friendships and, uh. <laughs> totally just. You wanna win, but you don't wanna win. By making your opponent faint that way. <laughs> <laughs> Something that's on anybody's mind right now is the There's conquistadors. More. We got 32. Uh, Fish Speaker is just co committing to these conquistadors, and honestly, as he kites us out well enough, um, he should be able to win most of these engagements that he has. Castle is going up on like the one most vulnerable area of Blue's base, yeah. so great positioning for that. Yeah, so good call from Beast to deal with that. I would say... Um, I also am pretty sure at this point now it's been long enough. Bees maybe didn't know what the counter to Conquistadors was, or maybe just didn't think it was worth trying to tech switch at the time. He is going to finally move into Skirmishers, which will kill Conks in say, enough yeah. numbers, and if he gets the right upgrades for them. So yeah. the good one thing unit I do choice want, there, but it might be a little late. One thing I do want to say is, is that since Fish is really pressing this advantage and just being an annoyance and pushing up, and, this, and the castle does go up, so and Fish does not see it yet, but I think as soon as he starts moving around, he's just going to see the uh, the castle and might try to back off. There's Imperial Age clicked for Fish Speaker, and we have another first time chatter, Laughing Cheese, welcome to the stream. Laughing Cheese, the welcome heavier. to the chat. Another of my friends. <laughs> yet, yet another Cameron Link uh, I got follower. three people here, yeah, no kidding. Love to see it. I was going to say, um, I'm going to say the one thing I would like to see Fish Speaker doing since he's pressing his advantage is to start to expand outward to some other resources because I obviously Bees can't expand now because he's dealing with this attack, but Fish is going to start running out of the resources in his base if he's not careful and he needs to... Um, also really impressive by the way. Look at the eco difference. It's very like similar, very close. He's able to yeah. use the three town centers, even with all these villager losses, to kind of keep and the up. Like coming in, like coming in from behind to try to deal with these units, and he's gonna get caught. Oh my. Okay. All right. Okay. And these are oh just gosh, not the is... units okay, to kill. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. It's just a red ball of death. Okay. Oh um, my. Okay. Ball. This is a thumbnail moment. Oh my gosh, okay, so he's gonna cut this out as best as he can. He might have enough units. He has pikemen, he's got nice, he's got scouts in there to try to deal with this, but I think Fish has too many units. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is he's a lot more work for Fish Speaker than it is for yeah. Blue, right? But he yeah, might be able to win the fight if he puts yeah, in but enough he's, work. He's cutting as best as he can. He's gonna try to keep pushing. He's gonna keep pulling back. He's gonna keep shooting. If Bees is not gonna continue on, he is losing too many units. Fish Speaker coming out on top, able Looks to kite like that out. That fight, yeah. Nobody grabbed the relics. Yeah, I think they're pretty much just fully focused at, at the moment yeah. on on killing yeah. or Fish defending. Speaker, I just noticed the speaker is moving into they the don't... next stage. Like he's going to start getting upgrades, so his unit's going to probably um, elite conquistadors coming up. Are those four castles from Fish? They don't quite have the multitasking at this level to get all the relics and do all the pretty impressive conquistador kiting and stuff. Yeah, um, no, these are forward castle there. foundations for fish speaker. He's sending in the bills. He wants to put an end to this. Probably with the imperial timing, could have seen these castles earlier. Maybe just do this one like five minutes yeah. ago and then instantly build Trebs in the uh, other. But that's probably right the plan now, now Trebs. But right now, fi uh, fish speaker has plenty of resources here. He's going to start cutting. So, Bees is going in for another attack. Going to 
but Fish is going to have enough Conquistador. He's going to kite it out. Not a problem. It's pretty much so... just skirmishes here, right, for now. Yeah. Fish Speaker can't really break the eco. Yeah. Um, there's some exposed areas on this stone and stuff, but... Right now, they're just oh, fighting with oh. armies, trying to kill the other's yeah. army. And oh The knights are going to do fairly well here if they get surrounded. Yeah, uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like Fish is going to lose a few Conquistadors here, and... Um... Yeah, he's losing them. He's going to lose some more Conquistadors here. I think Fishbigger is going to come out. Okay, he's I'm got gonna, the okay. reinforcement. Uh, also, uh, looking uh, at the res here from uh, Fishbigger, he could be doing a lot more with what okay, he has. So he does lose that. He does um, Conquistadors, but... But he's working away on this micro, I think, has really been the main focus. So. Forward, and for, one castle going up. He's going to... One, four castle going up. Uh, town center. Okay, interesting town center choice. I would have put it, maybe put a castle there, but... Um, Doesn't have but... the stone for it. I like this town center. Oh, Again, yeah. this is like the one exposed area for bees. And another TC, that might be a little bit too yeah, much yeah. investment with your opponent in Castle Age with yeah, the castle. We do, have, in we do have fish, yeah, fish Beaker with the two forward castles. He's probably going to start. If he, I'd, I'd say he, someone like the jack. Like at this stage, you're kind of just creating uh, targets for your enemy's trebuchets. That was good. <laughs> uh, somebody left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. That was weird. Did somebody join chat and then leave? I thought I got the Discord notification. Sorry. That was weird. Anyway, um, but right now I think Fish Speaker, if he's pushing his advantage, I would say he gets some trebuchets up and start doing some real damage. Oh, I just like swallowed a bunch of spit. <clears throat> oh no! Me. All right. No. Good thing I created those mute hotkeys. Okay, first Trebs coming out for red. And bees yep. struggling. He's gonna have a hard time produce. I mean, he, okay. Let's collect ourselves. We're not the ones playing the game. <laughs> Five town centers. If he can produce and stall long enough and make skirmishers, yeah. he but might be able to big, bring this back. It's been trebuchet big, conquistador uh, only. He's gonna. Set, no, I don't think they're. No, I don't think. With oh, the trebs, bees that decides said, to call that's, it. That's, that was a very intense game. That was intense. I think Beast could have made it much game. easier on himself if he just switched into the counter unit. Uh, he just made skirms. Yeah. Fish Beaker would have been forced to, to do something else as well. But yeah. that's the whole rock, paper, scissors thing. Fish committed to his one unit and got the value out of it. Bees also did a great job with the early pressure and the rating. Yeah, no, I think every I think both players did a very good job. I mean I I Fish Beaker did a good job of sticking to his game plan. Yeah, and committing to it, and I, I think that really was what won him the game. Because if he had di diverted or deviated at any point, then I don't know if he would have come out on top. So I think he did a good job. He knew what he wanted to do. He stuck to that plan, and that won him the game. Yeah, well played there from both. Yeah, GGs. There's some really good <laughs> engagements as well. <laughs> Those fish can swim. Victory for Smoke IMX God, aka Fish Speaker, on game one. That was the Burgundians, I think, right for Mason. So that's a loss there. And for the maps, up next, it's the uh, loser of the first game's choice of map between these two, Mason. His home map is Mega Random, so we'll probably see that. But let's get into it. Game two, actually. It's not mega random. He decided to go with Ghost Lake. Surprise, surprise. And we're in. Welcome to Enclosed. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves game two of this match in the bracket. The top eight bracket of the Winter Bash, uh, our yearly sort of high what did i say high octane low elo tournament <laughs> here in this match we've got fish speaker playing as the georgians in red and bees get degrees in blue no as the goths where are them confused towards that all right so just as an fyi so this, this is a bracketed <laughs> game the players will select a few civilizations at the beginning of it and the civilization they just played they cannot play again in the second game as we had here, right? Mm -hmm. So Spanish already played and won with by Fish Speaker. 
So he cannot, they cannot play that map again, and they cannot play that civilization again. At least until is it, they have it again at the... Like in whatever next uh, next match that they have to play. But yeah. for this match, Fish Speaker cannot play the Spanish any longer. However, he, he's now on his main Civ. What I would say is his main Civ. He's been branching out lately, but we play a lot uh, of team games on the ladder. Noticing that Bees is going right for the elephant kill and wants to get as much uh, food as possible early on, so I'm curious to see what he's going to do with that. Thanks, I'm so glad to be here. I just want to say that it is awesome to see the bird and wolf getting along so well. Well, uh, thanks. Thanks, Caleb SSS. Uh, Cameron, would you say we have a history of not getting along well? I don't remember a time. <laughs> uh, maybe that first semester or two in college oh, when yeah. uh, we kind of were indifferent to each other. Yeah, you're kind of like a Godzilla crazy person. That's all I know. I mean, I don't, that hasn't changed, but, you know, hey, you know. <laughs> The that animal said, you, should watch, you should watch the new movie. You should I've watch heard it's good. One. Godzilla it's minus one, right? Fantastic film, yeah. Then we got the Godzilla X Kong New Empire coming out. Do I need to watch like Godzilla 2016 or whatever before that? Do they are they sequels? The legendary is, is like Godzilla the MCU films are all, the legendary Godzilla films are all connected with one another. So you don't have to like watch the first one they get in like they get in general light. It helps kind of connect some dots. But okay, that being said, hold, it, hold that thought. <laughs> We got Blue going in for maybe a little pick. Was he Looks trying to kill like the, the elephant? The, I think he was just scouting, ran under the TC. Oh, man. And uh, took some damage. Now Fish Speaker trying to capitalize on that. We'll see if he gets led yeah, into the he, enemy TC, though. He's yeah, doing the right thing that, here. Beast has got to try to get that guy out of there. I'm curious what's going to happen. All right, we got a house on the side over here. Interesting choice. I hope that doesn't this could oh, no. be. Oh, no. This guy does at least two hits from going down. So he'll, ah, he actually nice. doesn't get, get any get out. Oh, oh One. my word. Oh, and he's gonna get out! Is B's okay, gonna, but... He's not gonna garrison. Fish has no, to back not. up though, okay. in danger of, of being take out. He's oh, going, fish fish is going all go in! For a military kill. So B's, how's he gonna respond to this? Okay, nope, he's not gonna. Okay, <laughs> just so pulling back. back. Fish he steals an ox. an ox, the water he buffalo. An ox. He's gotta, he's oh, gonna no. live another day, die on the other oh, side of the map instead. Oh wait, is he gonna, is he gonna try to snipe another one? Okay, he's, he was looking for something. He he's can steal gonna... these, yeah, these are, these are within, I think, well maybe this village is close enough, I'm not sure. But... He's just, he's gonna camp out here, that's... Just keeping his eyes open. There's a couple houses going there, and we have some uh, elephant uh, yeah. cruelty apologists in chat there. I, you know, I, I, I see you, I respect you, and uh, I'm still going to kill the elephants in H2 whenever I play. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. You know? <laughs> oh, there it, okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh I thought he was going to lose that villager there. <laughs> yeah, let me get another, another zoom that, on these ox here. Let's, uh, oh, sorry. Oof. Sorry for the insane camera. Here. Yeah. here we go. Ooh, uh, um, he's moving. Oh, yeah. Why are they overfeeding the ox? And they're not Sheesh. the ox. That, Give me a 360 that. ox. Come on. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. They're moving. Now that ox is built. Stacked. Wait, did he still? Oh, no. That's the scout. That's just the scout. Okay, so one of the main features of Enclosed here is this little ring of path terrain or whatever you want to call it. Can't build on it, which means you can't really wall your entire base. One of the things Bees loves to do, as we've seen, um, he's gonna have to adjust in this game because the only thing you can wall by your town center is wood. So, mm -hmm. and and I guess farms, but and I have to move out to a little more of an exposed area for uh, the berries, for the gold, for the stone. We'll see what the players decide to do to defend themselves. But enclosed has been a sleeper hit well, not even a sleeper. It's it's been very popular this year. In, it's, made in our some, it's made for some exciting games and ex ex exciting games. This, this, definitely. Yeah. The uh, the Georgians, new civ by the way, in in the latest DLC updates, they're a cavalry civ. They have a unique unit called the Manaspa that is created from their castle. It's very powerful, similar to the Lithuanian Latus, but they get their extra attack bonuses from having uh, a mass like having like up to like 20 units in a group gives them plus four attack pretty strong stuff they also have this this little guy the, the mule cart 
instead of a lumber camp and a mining camp, you can like move them around. You can do some interesting stuff with it. It's a little more efficient on the lumber in particular because it can just follow the wood as they chop through it. <laughs> Alright, but right now both players is pretty content to get their resources. Bees is getting to the next age, so he's gonna hit um you know what? I can feel age. Feel age. Yeah, I can. You know, I can never remember. I can never remember. Oh, they just always slip my mind. He's also going for that early militia again. Okay. Okay. So... I'm not gonna say anything more about that. I'll just say no. that it's happening. Let's we'll see what happens. I don't know if he's gonna go for any early aggression here, but he does have it out as a, maybe a safety as a precaution. Fish um, house briefly. It's just gonna go up on 25 pop actually. Okay. Um. Bird, could you tell me what those carts are? I've, is, that, is that a Grigori? I'm going to assume yeah, it's a Grigori. I just mentioned Thank it. You must have been tabbed out or something. But uh, they are uh, Georgian and Armenian new DLC civ unique replacement for the mining camp and the lumber camp. Okay. So, and you can, like, we'll see them, like, walking around and stuff, especially on the wood line. Interesting. Um, they, like, follow it so it's a little more efficient. You don't have to replace the lumber camp all the time. But, uh,. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty good stuff there. You can also like garrison it in the TC and stuff. So, fish speaker looks like going for a later feudal into fast castle play again. Only two on the gold this time, three on stone though. Gonna end up with he, enough stone by the time he hits castle to probably drop yep, the castle. He is getting a uh, he is getting a little uh, uh house wall up there on the outside. So really good play, kind of a preemptive safety for preemptive safety measure, but again, a good play from him. He's going he's gonna to be sure he's not going to be housed, and he's getting some defensive structures up. He's just kind of expanding the eco and feudal, and uh, getting those berries with ten vills. He's going to add an archery range now. As the goths, what we normally expect to see, I mean, we you, you can do a lot in, in the feudal age as the goths. You can do a man-at-arms rush, or what have you. Even an archer rush, if you want. That's, that's totally doable as the goths. They have a eco bonus with their hunts, I think, now. Is that it? No. Longer lasting sheep, I believe, is the goths bonus. Recently added. Um, but normally, we will see pretty fast castle age timing into infantry spam. We'll see if that happens for bees get degrees here. Not really looking for that right now. He's not mining any gold, so. So he's just kind of taking it easy and working on making bills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sheep be taking steroids? That's right. We got any more goth sheep around here? I think he already ate them all. It, is, all. it is getting a little later into the game. Or I guess I guess in this case it would be the water buffaloes. Exactly. So that's why the one that that that's got to be why the one that was stolen was so. Uh, so jacked, right? It was a goth water buffalo, surely. Is that a... Oh, that's a dead one. I, thought, I was trying to figure out why I didn't see a color around its collar, but... Oh, yeah, that one's dead. Skirmisher for bees get degrees. Oh, no. I think I know what's coming next. <laughs> you think you know what's coming next? <laughs> you have a water buffalo. <laughs> hey, we didn't get a song from you last game. I just got to mention that. Oh, so this, that I forgot forget. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the crap was hitting the fan. <laughs> forgot about that. Again, I'll say try not to make units unless you are planning on using them, either to defend or attack. Skirmishers here are pretty much only good if you see archers from the enemy, which the Georgians are not going to do in 99 cases out of 100, so... Just something to keep in mind. <laughs> Mine is fast and yours is slow. Shoot! Oh, oh shoot! Sheesh! Where we get them, I don't know. Oh, shoot. And the villager is going to fight this tiger. going to take it out and... Oh, oh no! Oh! Almost losing that villager. Well played from Beast to not lose it to the tiger. Just punching it out. Interesting choice from Fish over here. Looks like he actually... Uh -huh doesn't have loom yet. If I'm not, not am I, re if he had, am I yeah, reading if this right? Had, no loom for blue? Still yeah. still she, doesn't lose the villager to the, yeah, to the she, tiger. Yeah, no loom. I'm, I'm still not Risky quite place. Sure what, yeah, I'm still not quite sure what Beast is doing with the units over there, though. I feel like he should be at least moving towards um, Fish Speaker's area to 
maybe get a, some sight in and figure out what to do. I think he... I mean, he's accustomed to being able to build palisade walls around the whole base, right? I think he's feeling pretty exposed on this map and just wants to have units near nearby to the economy. He's thinking defensively, hoping to be able to outboom. Yeah. Fish speaker though, 30 seconds from Castle Age. It's gone right up to plan here for him. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't been pressured at all, so he can certainly take advantage of that and begin his begin and. Uh, start getting some units out and start maybe putting some pressure on bees. You like those boxing gloves, chat? That's a it's the boxing villager mod. I'm a I'm a huge proponent of the boxing villager mod, best mod in the game. There are many mods you're proponents of. <laughs> We got ourselves a castle from Fish Speaker instantly after hitting Castle Age. We've seen yeah, this before, well. I think. Uh, you, you're not being pressured at all, so why would you have to hesitate to do that? So, good play from Fish. He's just on the stone and the gold. The yeah, great spot, and also the berries. So, and a hill. <laughs> I could go on. Bees just trying to kind of make a slice of pie out of the map for his for his base. I did want to kind of cycle back to something you said earlier. Uh, yeah. I want to, you mentioned earlier that if you're not going to use the units, you better not make them. I guess as a counterpoint, obviously, Bees isn't doing anything to those units. So making, like, obviously, it's a sign that they probably shouldn't have made them. But again, if you don't know what your opponent has, then it doesn't hurt to have a few defensive units available at the ready just in case you are um, now, going to get hit by something. I th I think that's the wrong way to go about things a little bit. Um, it may be at like the at, at a lower level that that's the way yeah. to do it. But um, and you I should know what your that has, right? Yeah, just, and, guess, and I think look, a big part look. of that. And I think yeah, and I think a big part of that is and that's that's definitely like that a level of like learning and improvement in the game that. Yeah, and looks like we do have another tiger fight. This villager does have loom. Is he going to come out on top? It's going to be a close fight, and. Tiger and goes he gets down. It. Tiger goes down. Another TC going up in the corner over here. And I guess going back to that, I, I don't want to argue. I see, I see yeah. your point. I think a big part of that is the fact that Bees obviously wasn't scouting. And I think because he almost lost a scout early on, he was maybe afraid to go back and check. Yeah, so, it's rough. I think, and this is definitely again, more for peace of mind. And, it, and again, I like I think, the Spearman now because I think again, in certain situations, sorry. you can just blindly make units. Like yeah. if it's against the Georgians, you can kind of just make assumptions, or like if this was the Franks, also it, it applies there too. You just make spears and know that your enemy's gonna have scouts or knights out on the field, and it'll yeah. be worth it. So that's fine. And I guess it, I guess that's me also coming from the command and conquer background as well, because generally the games don't move as slowly as this, where it's like as soon as you hit a certain level, you have to start making units. You have to start making. Hmm. Um, Might be like different games having different yeah. requirements for that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, but I think it's more, I think it's probably just regards to, it's more of me like that, um, what's the word, that habit that I have, where it's like I have, I know I have to start making units because my opponent's coming making units, plus the maps are a bit smaller as well. Um, so there's going to be, there's less room for. And I think that um, is similar to like, um, not having hotkeys or not having a build order makes so, you work yeah, yeah, harder yeah. in the game than yeah. actually like knowing yeah. what to make and just kind of going on yeah. autopilot or like yeah. being able yeah. to just press like shift H, select all, all town centers instead of going back to the town center on the map or scrolling yeah. to it. Like in this game, it's just like, yeah. it's just more more stressful and it's, it can be more work. Yeah, obviously, like with Command and Conquer, like RA3, obviously there's set build orders we have. All right, so look, I forgot, I forgot all about that scout that Fish had in his base. So he's Fish. gonna get a vision down. Getting some eyes on what's coming. Mm -hmm. And, and we, just... we might see even an archery range now that he sees so, how many spears the enemy has. I'm not sure. He yeah, might just try to lot. outnumber them with the Manaspa too, though. But, he's hitting um... Castle Age. Hasn't been pressured either, so yeah, both of these well, players is just gonna come down to like. Yeah, and he does get the scout out, so he does. He did have vision on all those units, so we'll have to see how uh, Fish Beaker responds. Um, but yeah, I think. So I think yeah, the build orders in Age of Empires are just so va like. Build orders in any RTS are so vastly different from one another. Yeah. 
So yeah. I think. I mean, if just going like from age four to age two and back is like. If I play Age of Empires 4 tonight, I think I might have a, a match. I'm starting to make excuses right now because I've got Age of Empires 2 build orders down, no problem. I, I, I can do plenty in that game, but come I, Age I 4, I'm, I'm going to be blind. I don't know. I don't remember anything. It's so different. I got no like, idea. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. But, Psych. I mean, that's. I guess that's part of the fun of, is just like optimizing your, uh, huh. your timings and your play. A lot, a lot of it can just be game knowledge and, and uh, like knowing when 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 to hit and when yeah, to yeah, yeah. when to stall out, which kind of comes with playing more. Yeah. Okay. And uh, looks like Bees is going to start moving some units up on the side, so he's maybe going to want to start some aggression here. Going to try to maybe begin some attacks on uh, Fish Speaker. So let's see how this plays out. But Fish Speaker is getting those. Uh, Specific units, those uh, specific units. Another, another tiger fight. Oh, tiger oh, goes down. Wasn't even, not even close. Up the villagers <laughs> and then game beat up. it, it up. It wasn't fair. It wasn't a fair fight. Wasn't even fair. All right. So, what are the unique units for the Gregorians? The Georgians, from Georgia. 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 This Georgia. is the unique unit, the Manaspa. Uh, it's... Is this is this the unit that you can keep fighting after they lose the horse, or is that another? No. Unit? No, this is just a uh, heavy medium cavalry unit. It's cheaper than a knight, and it gets. Well, see, right now we have two attack upgrades: iron casting and uh, forging. So that should be Amazing. plus two. But if you see these now, they have plus four, because um, it gets a bonus of attack depending on how many mounted units are nearby. So that can go oh, up to plus could... four just wow. from that. So these units could That's be plus big. six attack in the, wow. uh, the castle age here. Well, that. You know, with that being said, um, he kind of a swarm thing. he only has these units, and you know we do have and um, bees does have like a mirror here or a forward castle from B. So really nice play there to maybe give himself a defensive foothold. That being said, there's a castle on the left side of the map. <laughs> so both players having the same idea. It's all about that I positioning. Think, this castle yeah, is area denial. It's, gonna it's say, rough think... on this side. There's not really any great spots to build a castle for yeah, that, I like, think... protection and also be, like, on a resource. You see how Fish Speaker has put it on the gold and the stone here to protect the Yeah, I think Fish Speaker's power. castle, from a, Again, from a place at point, is a better one. Tigers don't Another tiger change. Oh, close. Does um, <laughs> Beans have loom? Does he have loom yet? Nope. Oh, my word. That's... Oh, man. Bees is mounting up a nice little army over here on the side, so he's planning on moving in at some point and um, noticing not too many upgrades coming through for bees. I'm noticing These on the side. Are, not too many they're both going counterclockwise. Oh my so, word, this is hilarious. I'm super happy to see this castle from the Goths. I feel like this tournament, especially this year, we've seen the Goths like several times. People pick them and then not use their crazy infantry bonuses. Yeah, Cam is watching the Twitch stream, so he's a little delayed on the on the commentary. <laughs> I think I Wait, have it. No, I'm watching your stream. You're no, on I'm the watching Discord. Your stream. Oh, okay. I think they're getting the, they're getting the delay, so they're probably oh, fair like, probably weird. I don't know. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll see Huskarls. Hopefully we'll see Anarchy and like uh, Perfusion from our Goth player here could be real strong, especially Perfusion creates infantry and it's 100 time 100 percent faster. Could be good for spamming out Spearmen into these Manaspa. That said, that's going to be a death ball of Manaspa. Not a lot of defense on this side for Bees Get Degrees. This has been a great like build-up game. Neither player attacking at all. Just uh, just chilling to their heart's content. Getting up to their most, their furthest uh, possible level. Oh man! Oh, you sent man. one Spearman out. On the left side, he is, he is gonna see these. He is gonna see the the he units coming, coming in on the on the bottom, and he's gonna have to respond. So I'm gonna curious to see what he does. And he does have a few units at the entrance of the base. Some. Uh, I love how enclosed like, makes people, players make like a little toll booth right by the does have, right yeah. by the unbuildable terrain. You <laughs> shall not. Okay, nope. All right, cool. We're backing off. All right, so not fully committing yet. Oh, okay. He's just gonna attack. He might be able to. Just, breeze through that house and then work his way in. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. Oh my gosh, that the house is going down. It's melting. House so is melting. this is just a swarm. Uh, B's going to have to start thinking about where his villagers are exposed and, and hiding. Yeah, and, That's right, what he's so bringing he, all the spears he, home. 
Fish is pushing in. All right, he's going to be able to clean up those small community units. Not a problem. He is going to start pulling back. Not wanting to deal with those spearmen. So rather playing rather conservatively here. But all right, B's going to pull back. You know he's pushing him away. But Fish Speaker is keeping pretty close by. Oh, good choke point. Nope. All right. Wow, this is a lot of back and forth. Okay. Wow, there's they're a just dancing right now. Fish Speaker wants to get right in, but neither, Bees wants to neither kill. Neither player is feeling him. confident enough to really commit to anything. That was a good kind of initial play from Fish Speaker to take down that house to open up another avenue, open up another entrance to the base, but not committing to it. And we do have the Long Swordsman over here. No unique units from Bees yet, so he has not made any. I mean, house girls yet. aren't necessarily the play here into Manaspa. I would say the spearmen are are a good choice. Yeah, but I we'll think see when, if but, he's able to get the unique text in his real age. Plenty of, he has plenty of Manespa here, though. I'd like to see some. I definitely think that. Okay, I was gonna another four hour castle up from Fish Speaker here, so he's really committing to these Manespa. I'd like to see some more unit diversity from him um, to deal with those other units that Beast has. Some, are, some players, archers wouldn't hurt, but I think he's yeah. he's just doing so much just of the one yeah, thing think, that it'll be fine. I think he has. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he might have to be a little careful and, and dance around, but the mobility yeah. of the Manaspa both, is really there. Yeah, both there's players in here. the imperial, both players in the imperial age right now. So, oh my gosh, that red wave is coming in on the right. Okay, and he's gonna start moving in. Yeah, he's gonna look for another see angle it. to come in at. When does he see it? Oh, there oh it my goodness! Oh <laughs> From my the gosh! Fog. Okay, so now Fish figure should just take this fight. Yeah, if, One of the bonuses yeah, he, that Georgians have that doesn't get talked about yeah, as much is that they have that, uh, they take less damage um, when they're up, they have the heal yeah, advantage. I think, yeah, oh man, yeah. Not that that yeah, matters there, too much here. Units. These units yep. are insane. A, a defensive castle coming up from bees here, so this is going to be a really good play. They can get it up fast enough. And all oh, the castles up. up. Okay, so this is a really good play from bees here to get that castle up. And um, bees with so, perfusion is going to be able to produce these pikemen at insane speeds. Yeah, so, so he just I needs as many barracks really... as he can build right now. Out of wood, though. Oh no, that's not good. okay. So it looks like Fish is going to try to bring this castle down. He's going to commit to it. He's going to send all his units, most of his units, over there. He's going to be able and... to get it too. It looks like. Yeah, he's going to. He's just shredding it. He's got enough of these units, and especially with the stat, the the unit um, boost that they get when they're all coming together. Fully, he's, they're, they can't even reach wow, the castle. That they're fully surrounding. Melting. It. Um, it is this down. Is... That castle was. Not, oh man. The, the Manaspa, when when the Georgians were introduced to the game, they had a bug um, where they did extra damage to buildings, such as castles uh, like that. They oh, don't in anymore. So this is just the strength of the unit. No bug That's in insane. play here. Just uh, first speaker using insane. the Georgians with their numbers. Yeah, he's pushing in. He's going to take this. I think, yep, that's it. Wow. And the speaker Sheesh. victorious. Bees decides to call it there. That was insane. It was just a little too slow to the... Uh, the units, I guess. I don't know, but that, that was insane. I, that that one felt. I guess it's because they weren't really fighting at all until the very end, but it felt closer yeah. than than the last game. I don't know, to me at least. Um, it's hard to deal with that much cavalry and just letting the Georgians do what they want is is the recipe for a rough situation. <laughs> but GG, good good playing from bees. Well played, nice try. Good uh, good efforts here. But Fish Speaker massing the one unit type in both games. Able to take this match and move on to the next uh, the next uh, round of the final of the top eight bracket. Bees, unfortunately, is knocked out of the bracket since this was a lower half. Um, it's not double elimination. So he'll have to uh, just try his luck in the league stage continue to play games there if he wants or uh, wait till next year but always good to have an appearance from bees get degrees i love these walls it's incredible i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if we see a bees get degrees versus squeaky g rematch at some point mm -hmm. in the league stage in the league league settings so could be fun but all right that is that match Woo. let's take a look at those stats too Good stuff. Fun games to watch. Good content.